At SCRS, we're firm believers that it's important to use the right tool and right processes for the job. Repair facilities should always reference the documented OEM procedures for the specific requirements to the make and model vehicle you're working on before commencing work to ensure a safe and proper repair. We hope you get great value from this video and ask that you understand it's for general industry education and does not replace following documented procedures from vehicle and equipment manufacturers. Thanks and enjoy. In this video, we'll review considerations for required test drive processes intended to reset or calibrate vehicle systems. Some vehicle manufacturers may require this process to reinitialize the vehicle after repairs or after other scanning and calibration processes are complete to ensure the vehicle systems are functioning properly. Autotex has addressed these operations in their database reference manual and test driving the vehicle is a not included operation. Adding a test drive to the estimate would require a manual entry. In the Mitchell Collision Estimating Guide, or P pages, road testing the vehicle is only included in the alignment procedures, listed as verify alignment by road test. It's important to note that this step would only be included when utilizing the listed labor time for alignment rather than sublet, and that verifying the alignment is different from dynamic calibration requirements that the manufacturer may call for that require driving the vehicle to reset systems post alignment. The operation of a diagnostic road test to determine if alignment operations are necessary is also a not included operation in Mitchell. CCC treats the operation similarly. According to the motor guide to estimating, the labor time premise identifies road test vehicle as not included. The one exception to this rule is when using the book labor value for a wheel alignment. Driving the vehicle is considered one of the procedural steps after performing a wheel alignment. However, the road test does not account for many of the specific tasks associated with the test drive being performed for calibration or reset of systems and settings. Regardless of estimating system, road testing may require fuel replacement or electric charging costs as another consideration as well. As ICAR wrote in a March 2019 news post, Though it can be easy to think of a dynamic calibration as a test drive, they are not one in the same. First and foremost, if a vehicle requires a dynamic calibration, a test drive isn't done simultaneously. While both require the vehicle be on the road, there are different stipulations required for dynamic calibration than most test drives require. A test drive should be performed following all dynamic and static calibrations, often as a separate and final step before the vehicle is delivered. As an example of a dynamic calibration, the 2017 F-150 has similar required testing operations. This vehicle contains a forward-facing camera used to detect the position of the vehicle within the lane. The camera alignment procedure is required for the lane keeping alert and lane keeping aid to function correctly and requires approximately 10 minutes of driving above 40 miles per hour to complete, assuming ideal roadway conditions. Traffic, speed limits, and weather conditions such as snow or rain are all variables that can impact the ability to reach appropriate speeds or identify lane markings or signs. This operation should be performed after windshield replacements, after a change in tire size, after suspension repair or alignment, after front airbag deployment, and after interior mirror replacement. Honda requires the drive to calibrate the tire pressure monitoring system. The calibration is completed after driving in an ideal driving condition for about 20 minutes, between 22 and 65 miles per hour, driving steadily without much acceleration or deceleration. Full functionality of the system cannot be performed if the calibration is not completed. On a 2016 Chrysler 200, the adaptive cruise control module requires a reset for safety system alignment, requiring a test drive to test for completion and reactivate the adaptive cruise control system. In this drive, the vehicle must be driven above 41 miles per hour as the radar detects common roadside objects. For Tesla vehicles with second generation autopilot, the calibration process on the forward facing camera can take up to 100 miles of manual driving, depending on the road type and condition. Especially for vehicles with owner notifications, it's important that consumers understand you may need to have their vehicle on the roadway for extended periods of time as part of the repair process. These are a variety of examples from common makes and models, reinforcing why SCRS encourages repair facilities
to thoroughly examine repair procedures and documented expectations from automakers before beginning repairs. OEMOneStop.com is a valuable resource for identifying automaker websites and access to technical procedures. You can also use the Database Enhancement Gateway to search for inquiries and IP responses on labor times associated with this procedure and others. For more considerations on these procedures or others required for complete collision repairs, please refer to the SCRS Guide to Complete Repair Plan. This can be found on the SCRS website at www.scrs.com.